Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good morning Mr. Ampande. Yes, um, I got your number from... Uh... Uh, an officer from um, Lusaka who told me that you are um, the uncle to the president. So I thought uh, I must contact you so that uh, you can try to help me. I have tried all means and ways to try and have this matter resolved but uh, I'm not being successful. So the officer who gave me your number said, um, you are the uncle to the president and uh, you can help me to ensure that uh, this matter maybe reaches uh, his excellency. Um, I'm from the Copper Belt, Mpongwe district. We campaigned for the president in difficult times. And uh, we campaigned on the principle that the president has encouraged private sector driven economy. And uh, for us, that is our hope. That is our hope because government itself cannot employ. But private sector, if it is supported, we can also contribute to the, to the growth of our economy. So, my problem is that uh, Mr. Muyambango got a, a tractor from our company, Interfertilizer, and, uh, and he has never paid for it for two years now. Uh, we have tried to contact him. We have tried, by all means, uh, to engage him on this matter. He has uh, completely denied or neglected his responsibility to pay for this tractor. For, for two years, he has completely refused to pay. Uh, when I followed him in December, he told me he had presidential duties. But he, he was... Uh, when he told me to go to the house to drop a statement, I could see he was in the house there, seated in the veranda, but he told me that he was on presidential duties, he was at state house. So that is how I went back. When I pushed for payment in January, he, he, he engaged my suppliers. He got the barcode, the, you know, the sticker, on the tractor and contacted my suppliers in Iran. And he, that is how he, he advised those the suppliers to go to the police, Lusaka Central Police. So little did I know that he, all this time, when I've been pushing for money, him he has been engaging my suppliers. So when he, I went to, he called me, no, come to Lusaka, then I tried to make some payment. When I got to Quito Lodge, I was arrested. Arrested, taken to Lusaka Central Police. Lusaka Central Police, I stayed there for four days. Four days. I... I was called to the interrogation room by officers there. I have a letter which I wrote to them. The officers said they are working on instructions from the DIG. 
and the supplier. I, I insisted, who is the complainant? Is it the supplier or it is the DIG? They told me, no, you got the tractors from Iran and you've never paid for them. I said, no, I have proof of payment. I've, the agreement is 25% of every consignment. Okay, so I have paid so much money towards these tractors. So I don't know what you, what you are detaining me for, because as far as I'm concerned, this is a civil matter. And moreover, that same tractor you are talking about, which he, the, the DIG, you are saying you have instructions from the DIG, the tractor from the DIG has not even been paid for. Okay, he has just paid me a deposit. A tractor which is worth 400, he has been paying me 20, 30, 10, 20, just like that. So how does he become a complainant? No, no, no. It is, we, we won't go that way. We won't go that way. They brushed me off and took me back to the sales. So that is how uh, I involved my colleagues. And some of them were police officers. And they assisted me to get a police bond after four days. When I got police bond, a... a I called the DIG. I said, you have sent police on me for just merely giving you a tractor to use, which I have not paid for. No, I'm, I'm not aware about that. I said, no, but if you're not aware, how come your name is being mentioned? No, but those, those suppliers, they have told me that you have not paid them in full. I said, so what, DIG, if I have not paid them in full? The agreement is that I pay 25% and I sell and remit the money. He cut the phone. That is how uh, I returned to the copper belt and uh, I engaged a lawyer. When I returned to the copper belt, two days later, Mr. Miambango sent a team of police officers together with that supplier. To come and grab the rest of the tractors that are at our warehouse. So I told this officer, Mr. Piri, Mr. Piri, you were in Osaka where you incarcerated me over a civil case. Now again you have followed me here. What brings you to the copper belt, Mr. Piri? No, we've come to grab the tractors. We have instructions from the DIG that those tractors be repossessed. Uh, until you pay the supplier. I said, but uh, what about my interest? What about the money that I paid the, the, the supplier? How is my money going to be recovered? If these tractors will be collected and taken to Lusaka, I don't know where you want to take them. So I'm not releasing them. No, 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 we have instructions to release. That is how I called some officer in Lusaka. The one who helped me with police bond he said, is this in order, sir? He said, no. Call the director CID, Mr. Yui. I called Mr. Yui. Mr. Yui instructed those officers to stop what they were doing because the matter was civil. I have also paid money. Why do you want to deprive him of the money that he has paid? And even when you are working on instructions from the DIG, how would you do something illegal? That is illegal. Can you stop what you are doing? That is how those officers left. So, I have had the audience with the DIG to say, you have hate me so much, and I don't know why you've hate me so much. Surely, in your yard here, you have over 20 vehicles that you buy every week. You have all these officers that are giving you money every day. In the evenings, they bring money from this station, from that station. You have traffic officers in, at Makeni there. That traffic officer, female woman, whom he meets every evening to give him money. Why can't you give me the little money that you owe me? And the chapter is closed. Then he says no. Those tractors are not yours, I can't pay you. I said, DIG, how can you say those tractors are not mine? Because I have a contract. Why don't you just pay me? Because that supplier, you don't know him. 
you collected that tractor from me. How can you deal with my supply? Again, a little did I know, Mr. Ampande, that Mr. Muyambango has even gotten the dealership from me, from our company, which has been which employed about 60 people. Now our company only has two workers because that dealership has been revoked. And the dealership now has gone to, to Mr. Muyambango. But my cry is that Mr. Muyambango buys cars every week. Why can't he pay me? Mr. Muyambango together with Mosho, they are always together with Mosho and the, that uh, the lawyer who was convicted, Kabulungombe. They are always together. They are buying plots, building houses in Silverest there, in New Kasama. Surely, can you fail to pay your brother who trusted you with an item like a tractor, which is worth so much money and you don't want to pay? I have uh, suffered, sir. Now, because I refuse to get the tractors, more sure Mr. Muyambango and my supplier, and Kabulungombe, that lawyer was, was convicted, who is on bail. Now they've started doing committal, committal documents to commit me to prison to say I have refused to, 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 to release the tractors. The same underhand methods that the PF were using, abusing the courts, manipulating the courts, that is what Mr. Muyambango is doing with Mosho and Kabulungombe, that suspended lawyer. Now, me, I'm just a young person who has tried to contribute to this nation in a way of uh, employing my fellow youths. But I'm being deprived a chance to do business because my mistake was to give Mr. Muyambango a tractor. Mr. Muyambango, he gets a salary. Mr. Muyambango doesn't buy fuel. Mr. Muyambango doesn't buy food. Mr. Muyambango, uh, he has people that are bringing cars every day to his yard. He's getting free plots. He's building every day. He's sending equipment vehicles to Kaoma at his farm. What about me? A poor young man who is just trying to live a life. We cried, we fought battles. We fought battles to make sure that UPND emerged so that our problems can be heard. But I'm dealing with the authority, Mr. Muyambango, who knows the law, who has refused to pay me for two years now. Two years he has refused to pay me to say I am not the owner. The owner is that Iranian that he is talking to, whom they are doing deals with now. Surely is it fair? He me gets Mutulo, from all these stations from the officers i've seen i've seen a lot at that house when i go there this officer in charge there goes that one goes these female officers meet him even outside work okay surely these are things that we said no to abuse of office and abuse of power but he has been allowed to do that because us who are the grassroots how do i find myself to go and complain there. He called me the other time and said there's nothing that you can do. Even when you have written the letter to the IG, there's nothing the IG can do to me because the IG is appointed by the president. I'm equally appointed by the president. If you go to home affairs, Jack Mwimbu is my friend, Honorable Jack Mwimbu. Nothing will happen. So I am not trying to be malicious. But I'm just speaking things the way they are. I have suffered in the hands of Mr. Muyambango. And why would I suffer in the hands of Mr. Muyambango, who is a capable person, who can just pay me that money remaining, a 200,000 kwacha, which is remaining? Why can't he just pay me? So that I can also continue with my life. After all, I have to pay my supplier too. But that supplier, he has turned him to be his supplier now. Kidding me, kidding a business which was doing fine. Our business was, had employed 60 people. But now we have reduced it to nothing. Because he got that bigger dealership himself by scandalizing me, scandalizing our company. Mr. Ampande, sir, please, I'm requesting, if this voice note 
can reach can reach the the, the our he maybe i can be assisted because i have engaged the uh, our PSC at Wakawana. I have engaged so many ministers, these government departments, including the IG. I wrote to the IG, I've got all the letters, but there is no feedback. I'll send you the letters we wrote to the IG, but there's nothing. They just say, No, our hands are tight. Kaidi, if he's going to tell you, if he's going to tell you that uh, uh, Jack, Honorable Jack Mwimbu is my colleague. If he's going to tell you that we are all on appointment, what can we do us? What can we do? So, Ndagomba, just try to help me. There's no malice here. I have all the paperwork which I'm going to forward to you. But I can see that that office, the power of office, is being used to deprive us businessmen of an opportunity to grow. Ndalumba. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.